Hey guys, MB Darkman here. Now today we're going to be opening up some Plum Corp merch. Now, if you don't know what Plum Corp is, I have mentioned it a few times on my channel, but effectively it's sort of a combination of a merch store and a record label that appears to be run in some way by Joji. He follows it on Instagram, he's promoted it at his shows, and he's even listed as a trademark owner online. Now, a lot of people have seen videos like Dracula Flow, and obviously this video has gotten quite popular. Uh, but what not a lot of people realize is that those videos are effectively ads for this uh, Plum Corp merch. And there's been a lot of merch for sale on this website. Some of it has been related to those videos. Um, none of it's really been directly related to Joji, but regardless, this merch has still been very, very popular. Now, I mentioned at the end of my recent video on Filthy Frank merch that I wanted to make a video about Plum Corp, and I still plan to. And in fact, that's why I've got some of these packages here today, because I need to film some of this merch for that video. Um, but I also bought another piece of merch because it was put on sale very recently. The merch we've bought today is a 1 of 100 shirt, uh, which was advertised in a Plum Corp video. If you look closely, you can see there's a typo. Look real close. You can see it's a typo. I don't know what the fuck heck is, is but, but someone needs their ass whooped. The, uh, the people in the factory must have been tweaking. And it is a shirt that purposely has an error on it. It has Plum Corp Hecords. And they've only made a hundred of these. So you know, when I hear limited edition Joji, that's got my name all over it. I had to buy that and check it out so I could share it with you guys. So we've got a couple of pieces of merch here. Um, there's, I think, two in this package and one in that one. But this one here is the rare one of 100 merch. So be sure to stick around for that because this is going to be quite an interesting thing to open up. All right, but I think we'll start with this package. So we'll get the uh, get the old Swiss Army knife and open this one up. All right, let's see what we've got here. I can feel that there's a couple of shirts in here. I did order quite a few. I needed a few for uh, my video that I plan to make, but there was some, some pretty interesting stuff on their store. So you can see there's one shirt there. It's a black t-shirt. And then we've got this other shirt, which has come out of the plastic here. Let me tidy this up a bit. All right, so first up, you can see here, we have this, um, this red Plum Corp shirt. So this is just a very plain, very basic shirt with the Plum Corp branding there. It just says Plum Corp Audio Visual. Um, the Plum Corp channel has gone by a few different names. Sometimes it's been called Plum Corp Audio Visual. Sometimes it's been called Plum Corp Records, uh, but this does say Audio Visual on it. And then if we look up here near the collar, we can see that again, it says Plum Corp Audio Visual. And that's really all there is to it. There's nothing else on here. There's no tags or anything. Um, it is a little bit unusual because like I said, Plum Corp has sort of just popped up out of nowhere. So if you don't know what it is, um, it would be a little bit strange to buy this shirt. And I very much doubt if you're wearing this, anyone's gonna recognize what Plum Corp is. Um, but to those really diehard Joji fans, um, it's a cool little collector's piece. All right, so we'll move this one off to the side and now we're gonna have a look at this black t-shirt. I do need to get this shirt out of the plastic. Okay, I am gonna need the knife for this one. So we'll just open that up there. Let's have a look. There we go. All right, so this shirt here, it was actually one of the first shirts that launched on the store. Uh, you can see it says there, Grab on D's Authentic Italian Cuisine uh, and then that says established 1914. I'm not sure what the significance of that year is, given that this is a joke. But uh, yeah, if you couldn't work it out by now, uh, grab on D's. Obviously, that's a, a joke. It's meant to sound like, I guess, a Italian or European restaurant name. Uh, but it is, of course, a D's Nuts joke. Now, this is a very interesting shirt because, like I said, it makes reference to the D's Nuts joke, which was a joke that was popular back when Joji wasn't even really doing his music stuff. He was making these Nuts jokes on the Filthy Frank channel. Or maybe a D's Nuts Vine compilation is more up to your speed. D's Nuts, got him. <laughs> D's Nuts, ah, got him. So this is kind of a, an interesting crossover, I guess, between Joji's time uh, as a musician and back in the old days when he was making jokes as, as Filthy Frank. But, you know, I guess uh, old habits die hard. It's a it's a funny joke and he hasn't gotten over it. So he's still selling merch uh, with grab on D's on it. Now, if we just look over here, we can see that just like the other shirt, there's not really much more to this. 
uh, it just says Plum Corp Audio Visual. Anyway, so that's those two shirts. Let's uh, move these out of the way and then we're gonna get to the main event, which is that limited edition one of 100 Plum Corp Hecords. I, I really don't understand that. Let's get to that shirt. All right, here we go. Let's open this one up. All right, here it is, the Plum Corp Hecord shirt. So if you look closely there, you can see there is indeed an H. Where's the H? Where's the H? But anyway, let's get this uh, let's get this out of the plastic and have a bit of a better look. All right, here it is, the Plum Corp Hecord shirt. Now, in case you're wondering why I bought a brown button-up shirt, it's because that's all that this shirt was. There was no other colors, no other designs. Uh, if you wanted this limited one of a hundred edition shirt, uh, this was the only form it came in. And I guess arguably this is one of the rarest pieces of Joji merch there is. I mean, there's only a hundred of these in the world. Um, no other Joji merch or albums or anything like that have ever been that rare. I think even some of his limited records have only been limited to a thousand or five thousand pieces. So to have something that's only one of 100, uh, that's definitely on the on the rarer end. You know, I guess some people have wondered if uh, if this is actually a legitimate mistake they made. They printed this with an H there and then just thought they'd sell it because they know people would buy it. Uh, or if, you know, this is just a joke. I mean, this is perfectly in line with Joji's humor, perfectly in line with everything we've seen on the Plum Corp um, channel. Um, and honestly, that's, that's what I think it is. I think they purposely printed a hundred of these shirts like this wrong and decided to sell them. And there's there's no like version of this that has the correct spelling. There's no other edition of this shirt. This is all there is. So someone sat down at a board meeting or something and thought that this would be a great item of merch to make. Very interesting decision, but hey, I can't really talk. I bought the thing. We'll just open it up a bit here. Oh, okay. There's definitely uh, some stuff going on on the back. I wonder if they've spelt it wrong here. Nope, you can see it is actually spelt correctly on the back. So we've got Plum Corp Records, and then we've got clearly a, a record logo there. Um, it is interesting, given that the whole gimmick with this shirt was that it was spelt wrong on the front, I would have thought they would have spelt it wrong on the back. I guess that does give credence to maybe the fact that they did spell it wrong on the front by accident. Um, but no, I think it was a legitimate, uh, legitimate Plum Corp joke. I must say this shirt is very, very strange. The material, um, it's like a, it does feel like a bit of a cheap fabric, to be honest. And I mean, just, just look at this thing. I mean, would you, would you wear this? Can you please comment in the chat if you would actually wear this out? I think this is going to be a, uh, a collector's piece for me because it is definitely a bit of a unusual design. But look, I wanted to buy it as a collector's item, but also to share it with you guys. But um, I'm interested to know. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would wear. So there you have it, the three Plum Corp shirts, the Grab On D shirt, the Plum Corp shirt, and of course the extremely rare one of 100 Plum Corp Hecord shirt. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing, something a little bit different. Like I said, I just needed to get some uh, of this merch for my Plum Corp video. I'm gonna be doing some more filming now, so I just thought I'd share this with you guys. But if you'd like to see that video or any more of my related videos, please consider subscribing as it really helps my channel. Anyway, this has been NB Duckman. Thank you so much for watching.